Principal Tingley, Joseph Mr. and Mrs. Reed, thanks for joining this parent-teacher meeting. Now, we're going to be seated at the table in the back of the room so that we can start the meeting right away. So, are we all ready? Good, now let's begin. I will start us off. So we all agree that Joseph has not been doing that well in school. And as a matter of fact, his grades have gotten worse than last semester. And his behavior is also getting worse. All right then, catch me if you can. Joseph, get back here. What has gotten into him lately? Run, run, as fast as you can. You can't catch me. I'm invincible, Joseph. Oh no, Kevin, what are you doing here? Joseph, it is mandatory that you are at your parent-teacher conference because you need to hear what Mrs. Stillwater has to say about your grades and behavior. <laughs> I don't want to go to my parent teacher conference. I don't want to go to my parent teacher conference. I don't want to go to my parent teacher conference. I don't want to go to my parent teacher conference. Why? Don't, don't even get, don't me, get me started, started with this childish, childish behavior. Childish You're, starting childish You're starting to remind me of Dave, Dave a childish, childish dad. dad. And, yes, and yes, you have to be at your parent teacher parent conference. Teacher conference. Teacher conference. So, so let's go so to let's your go classroom. To your no, I don't want to. I want to watch Barney and Friends instead, and I want to hang out with Joey and Tom. I don't want to go to my parent-teacher conference. You know what, Joseph? I'm going to have to carry you back to Miss Stillwater's classroom, and I'm also going to join the meeting so that I can monitor your behavior. Hey, I demand you put me down right now. Wah. Stop it. Just stop it. Now that I brought Joseph back to where he is supposed to be, I guess I will go back to doing what I need to get done. Actually, Kevin, I would like you to stay here in case Joseph misbehaves again. Sure thing, Principal Ingley. Okay, first things first. Joseph has been getting D's or F's on every single assignment he has handed in to me throughout the school year. Come on, we're about three weeks into the spring semester, and he is still getting bad grades. The best grade he has gotten on an assignment was a C-. Okay, okay, I get it. I'm the worst student, and I'm really dumb, I get it. Now Joseph, it's not your turn to speak yet. Let me finish what I was saying. Okay, where was I? Oh yes, now I remember. Joseph has been getting bad grades all this school year, mostly D's and F's. Yet most of the other students in my class are at least getting C's, most get A's and B's on assignments and on exams. Also, Joseph, you have been misbehaving a lot. Anyways, back to what Miss Stillwater was saying. Every other student in that class is at least making progress, but you continue to struggle. Why is that? I have no clue. Just take a look at these test results. 55, 43, 27, a 10 on the most recent geography exam. Besides, last semester, he plagiarized on one of his homework assignments, and I gave him an automatic zero for that. I'm just a late bloomer, okay? You know, I wish things were that simple. But I am going to make a tough decision. My recommendation is for Joseph Red to repeat the fifth grade. I don't want 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 to repeat the fifth grade. Wow. Joseph, Christopher, Reed. Get up off the floor right now. You're acting very childish. 
And this is not how you behave whenever someone tells you this information. You're not in preschool anymore. Why don't you hold me back to preschool instead? I want to be in preschool. 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 I want to take naps, eat popcorn, color and coloring books, and watch Barney and Friends. Wah! Joseph, that is not an option. All we can do is have you repeat the fifth grade next school year. And we are all getting tired of your childish temper tantrums. <laughs> Preschool, I want to be in preschool. 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 Going back to preschool is going to be a lot more fun than repeating the fifth grade. No homework, no tests. All we do is take naps, eat popcorn, and watch Coco Melon, Wonder Pets, Barney, and Friends. You name it. Wah. Now Joseph, you're going to remain in Principal Ingley's office so that you can hear what is going on in parent-teacher conference from the school's surveillance tapes. And I am going to monitor you so that you don't misbehave. Joseph, Joseph, stop, stop it. it. I've, I've had, had enough had of your childish, childish tantrums. tantrums. Now, listen now listen to the parent-teacher parent conference, conference, okay? Joseph Christopher Red, we cannot believe how you are behaving at the parent-teacher conference. That was really embarrassing, and we're also disappointed in you having to repeat the fifth grade next school year. For this, you are even more grounded 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 for five months. This means no watching Barney, no computer, no TV, no hanging out with any troublemakers, especially Tom and Joey. Now, go upstairs to your room. And do not, I mean, do not, slam, your, door. <coughs> Joseph, Christopher, Reed, what did we tell you about slamming doors?